What do you see as the benefits <clears throat> of your background in teaching and education going in, into medicine? I mean, I think a lot of times non-traditional applicants that kind of think, oh, I didn't, you know, I don't have clinical exposure. What's the relevance of what I've done in the past? So what is the relevance to, as you see it, of your teaching? Yes, I'm, I'm really glad you asked that question um, because I think I think this question is like a really, you know, a springboard for a really rich discussion. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to say this about many jobs, not just teaching, but having a job before medical school. Um, there's so much you can you can learn um, from so many of these jobs that are absolutely transferable to, to medicine. Um, so to speak about teaching a little bit, um, when, when you're a teacher, you know, you're you're told to teach a certain subject and you're you're given this like, you know, load of information to kind of sift through and, and you have to decide like what am I going to teach and what do you focus on when you review and what do you ask on a test and you really learn to zoom in on the important information and this is so important for medical school I mean every medical student I'm sure will agree with me you're you're flooded with information in my opinion this is a flow in medical education but that's a discussion for another time and you just you don't know what to do with it you're like you know what's important what do I need to know for the test how do I how do I process this information and memorize such a large volume of knowledge in such a short amount of time. So I think teaching really, really helped me with that. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I would say is, is that um, definitely with teaching, but I'm, I'm sure this applies in other jobs as well. Um, you have to learn to deal with lots of different types of people. Um, so the school that I taught in, for example, were lots of immigrants, um, people from all different countries. So you're, you're dealing with students, in my case, you know, adolescents in Brooklyn, not always so easy. <laughs> um, you're, you're dealing with co-workers, you're dealing with principals, administrators, and then you're dealing with parents, you know, which is a whole other beast. So you really, you know, hone in on your people skills, communication skills, um, things like that, which are extremely important for medicine, because if you're going to be a doctor, you're going to deal with people from all walks of life, you know, different from you culturally, religion, politically, whatever it is. Um, and you have to know how to, you know, see eye to eye with, with people who are different than you.